Whoops. Team Dash, he's a relatively green dog. This is only my uh, first time doing NW2 with him. He's a bit of a wild man. So at this stage in our training, we were still um, working out our rhythm and my determining how much leash to give him on a search like this. He tends to want to chase odor and dive deep into the search, as you can see. Um, so I was kind of allowing him to go deep and work his way back. Um, at that time, it seemed like the better strategy for us so you can see, he's got a pretty good indication with his tail. It starts to really um, wag back and forth. Um, with the curl, it's pretty easy to see that he's an odor. He catches it right there on those stairs, and then he kind of gets out of it. A little bit too abrupt on the leash there. I wanted to get him around this table. Didn't show any interest in the table there, so I thought, okay, there's one place we hadn't gone. Notice a change in behavior there, and it's on the trash lid, of course, right by the threshold, which, with this particular dog and his speed is a common issue we're dealing with. Um, he often will find those threshold hides at the end of his search. So I'm okay with it right now as we develop as a team. I think that'll get better with practice. So let's watch that search again in slow motion so we can see a little more of the detail. And if you're interested, um, you can either skip through it um, to parts you're interested in or maybe pay special attention to certain features, which is something that I encourage all my handlers to do when they're training. Pay attention to your hands, your feet, your speed, or pay attention to the dog's speed, his rate of change um, with footstep, um, change in head posture, tail. So I will sort of often choose one of those things to focus on while I'm learning. When I watch my own videos, I do that a lot as well, which is what's so great about video as a learning tool. So here it's a bit of a free for all, but I was making the choice to let him go deep. Could I have made better choices? Maybe. We're still learning, as I mentioned before. I wasn't unhappy with the handling here. I definitely see a few things I wish I had done a little bit better. So as they come up, I will point them out. And this is one of the things as an instructor, I think it's important that I learn from my mistakes and that I show them to my students because invariably you will make those same mistakes, but this is how we all learn. Nobody's perfect and there's some really great handlers out there and even they make mistakes. So we, the best we can do is learn from our mistakes and not make them again. So I'm just kind of working my way back up this odor plume because I realize now it's probably behind us. So I'm letting him get into all these little nooks and crannies, and he felt the need to get some elevation by going up those stairs, which I was okay with. So there's that tail flick I mentioned earlier where he catches that odor. And he kind of gets out of it, and he starts driving to the exit. I turned him a little too hard there. I'm not real happy with that. That was hard on leash. Try to want to get him against the wall, which you can see he's an odor. Again, I checked him a little too hard there, so that's something I need to be careful of. Because of his speed, it's it's really easy to give him a hard leash check. So here, there's that tail flick again. He goes deep in that corner, and he works the wall really nicely. Back to source, he gets his nose right on it. And he does have a focused response, um, offers it, and then he gets his toy. So overall, I'm not unhappy with this search. A few things I wish I'd done differently. If you have a really speedy dog, it's... You know, when you're first getting to know each other, it, it can happen where you might check them with a the leash a little bit, and that'll come with some practice, you know, getting your rhythm, slowing yourself down, feeding that line out so that they're not hitting the end of the leash so hard. So that's definitely something I wish I'd done a little bit better in this search. But thanks for watching. I hope that was informative and at least interesting. Uh, feel free to hit me up with some comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts.